The questions surrounding so-called sewer sludge dumping on farmland have moved to another community. We've covered complaints in Jefferson and Blunt counties. Now what some call the smell of death has arrived in St. Clair County, along with worries about what this is doing to livestock, wildlife and the creeks. The I-Team Cynthia Gould with the latest debate. Derek Heckman and his family moved to property outside Asheville to enjoy the great outdoors. Then the big tanker started rolling in along 411, bringing a nauseating smell. And they mix sludge at that facility there in, in Decatur in large tanks and bring it here at 6,500 gallons at a time. Uh, it's a mixture of human waste, industrial waste, uh, agriculture waste, and processing facilities such as chicken. Some of it coming from northern states where they don't want it, touted as a free fertilizer for farmers, saving them thousands of dollars. To farmers, it's free. Every one of us are old enough to realize that nothing in life is free. Somebody's making money on one side or the other and Senegro is making the money from the seller or basically the person that's getting rid of the toxic chemicals. Heckman, a forester with a biology background, says they're now seeing dead animals. Cows graze near the land where the sludge is spread. The biggest thing that we worry about on these are forever chemicals. They're tied to dementia and Alzheimer's disease. While Aiden passed regulations in 2022, these folks believe they don't go nearly far enough. Is there any way to stop this? Currently, we have nothing in hand that is the silver bullet to stop this. Heckman fears the unknown is too dangerous. Is this really safe? We moved out to the country, peace and quiet, fresh air. Dwayne Battles also sees tankers rolling into the property next door. It's, it's all day, every uh, hour, maybe every one truck per hour. He has fears about what's running off into the creek. We would used to clean our fish and uh, fry them up and eat them. Now we just throw them back. They feel no one is listening as they fight the big out-of-state companies hauling in the sludge. Anyone that goes to the grocery store and buys a pack of meat should be concerned. When they get done here, they're going to go somewhere else. You know, so it just needs to be stopped altogether. There needs to be, everyone needs to come together. There's enough smart enough people to come up with a solution besides bringing this stuff and just dumping it on the ground. County commissioners appear split on the issue, saying this is up to the state to regulate. The Environmental Working Group reports in 2022, more than half of the sludge generated in the U.S. was spread on land. And nearly 20 million acres of cropland could be contaminated with forever chemicals from the sludge. The state testing in Maine found high levels of toxic chemicals in dozens of farms.